Hello students, this is CET 234 class, Rivet 2019, Stark State College, and I hope this screen looks familiar to you. This is the residential project we've been working on in class, and remember that you still have to do those exercises in the book and finish up and practice and then do the quiz on the back of each chapter. And then also working simultaneously here, you know, on this project. We have reached this part. The last thing we worked on in class, we actually worked on adding the roof and modifying the roofs and connecting the roofs and also the return here, roofs, and how to do that. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I can help you and answer you as I hope you already received that message saying that I put an open discussion forum here for any questions or concerns that you actually have. So, I hope that all of you are at least, if not beyond this point here, I have all my windows and all my doors in. The assignment states clearly that you need to have all your interior and exterior doors showing the door width. However, you need to show them as a tag. That means it's automatic. The same thing for the window is the width times the height as a tag and the cabinet size also as a tag. You are required to upload your project files. So I'll be able to verify that. And in reality, actually, that makes it more efficient and much easier. Now, the tags that come in by default, you know, are not exactly that way. So I took the liberty and modified these tags. And basically, you have those. They are automatic. They will come automatic if you are using the template file, which, of course, all of us are. So I modified certain things such as the walls. I created also the sheets for you that you don't have to worry about. And I also posted some videos that I found from the Autodesk and from YouTube that shows you basically how to print and add. You know, of course, you don't really have to worry about that any longer since we are switching to the Web3 for now and just you need to upload but it needs to be print ready so let me go back to the tags the tags i modified i modified to show us what we want and you have two choices by category that means if i click on this guy you know i have to go and basically as you can see here if i hover i'm not going to click here's the a wall tag and here's you know the window tag and here's the door tag or I can actually click on tag all and that's the one that is actually more efficient and I'm going to click on the windows and I'm going to click on the door tags and all I do is just that little checkbox and say okay and now all my windows and all my doors are tagged as you can see here we do have those actually a little bit on top of the walls that's not a good thing so you need to modify this manually and here it is use you know when you hover your mouse if you're not try if you can't click on this actual tag or size you know just use the tab key on the right side and actually it will modify it for you or switch to the different one here i'm just going to move it out of the way this is if you recall is the fine tuning we talked about so here i am actually doing my tabbing here here it is and i'm just going to move that part and so forth and let's move it out of the way you can see some of these doors now let's take one of these here and if i click on it not only you know, I need to move it, but also it needs to be parallel to my wall. Basically, it needs to be vertical. And in here, when you look at the properties of this tag, now it is gone. When I click on that tag, see, this is a tag, not the window. Naturally, logically, if I actually eliminate my window, if I delete my window, it's going to eliminate or delete also the tag with it. However, I can actually... Just delete the tag by itself 
and they'll be fine. So, of course, it makes sense. So, you know, you're tagging something. If you eliminate that something, it's going to, the tag is going to be gone. However, you have the choice of putting a tag or not to put a tag. So, back to here. On the properties, you can see that there is an orientation line here. When you click on this part, you have a choice of horizontal or vertical. And therefore, I just basically make it vertical. The same thing for this guy. I click in here and make it vertical. And, of course, also move it out of the wall so it will be legible. And you can continue with the rest of these windows. And this guy here, since we actually have it as the way we drew it, we drew it as one window, or not as one window, we drew it as multiple windows. You can actually leave it that way, you know, three foot by five feet and three foot, you know. We have it on the blueprints, if you recall. The blueprint shows it to be, you know, six by five in here, you know, and again, you know, just because, you know, we could not find in the library and for being just more efficient, we just use those two, which is fine. You can keep it that way. No problem with that part here. Now, as you can see, some of these doors, you also have some of these door tags. You also need to, you know change them to vertical to be aligned and 